As k is never zero in this summation, we can divide top and bottom by k to give ourselves the sum between k equals 1 and infinity of k over k minus 1 factorial. Letting m equal k minus 1, then we can replace this to be the sum between m equals 0 and infinity of m plus 1 over m factorial, and we can split that to be the sum between m equals 0 and infinity of m over m factorial, add the sum between m equals 0 and infinity of 1 over m factorial. This is a well-known summation, basically equaling e, so that only leaves us with this bit. The first term, m equals 0, will be 0 over 0 factorial, which is 0, so we can actually replace that 0 with 1 without changing anything, and so that gives us the sum between m equals 1 and infinity of m over m factorial. Again, we can, we can divide top and bottom by m, which equals the sum between m equals 1 and infinity of 1 over m minus 1 factorial, and using the same trick, q equals m minus 1, that gives us the sum between between infinity and q equals 0 of 1 over q factorial and we've already established that that equals e and so therefore we have e plus e which is 2e answer c